So uh, last time you guys were sitting in a, a tavern uh, waiting to meet an acquaintance of yours called Gundren Rockseeker, which is this uh, kind of uh, rough-looking dwarf that you guys know. Uh, he uh, came to you with a very, what he says is a very prosperous offer uh, and want you guys to escort some of his supplies to... Fandalin, uh, while he rides in, as a, in advance together with his um, protector of sorts, uh, a warrior called Sildar Hallwinter. Uh, you agreed to this, and uh, you uh, took uh, waited a day while he rode in advance, and then you took his wagon and made your way down towards Fandalin. However, on the way down there, you were uh, you found some horses lying in the middle of the road, a pair of horses that had been killed, and you found evidence that some bodies had been uh, dragged along and also got ambushed by a few goblins there as well. Uh, you chose to uh, try to examine, uh, or sorry, investigate uh, this trail, and uh, as you went through the trail, you uh, almost, well, you ran into a trap or three along the way until you found the uh, hideout where uh, apparently there's a lot of goblins in there. You tried to uh, enter the uh, hideout, however, you were quite figure, uh, literally flushed out a few times uh, and you decided to retreat for the night. Does that about sum it up? Oh, yeah. Sounds like. Yeah. Cool. So, uh, you guys are currently sleeping. Uh, who were on watch? Uh, I took first uh, watch, so Oak will still be on watch now. Yeah, I'm on watch. Okay. So, uh, whosoever is, uh, whoever is on watch, can you please roll a perception check? Hmm. Ten. Yeah. Right in the middle. There, there were two on watch, right? Uh, no, I think I took second shift, so he's probably asleep. Yeah, I'll be okay. asleep not having my short rest. Okay. Uh, you uh, seem to think it's a very quiet night. Um... Nothing much really goes on. Uh, and as the night progresses, you think you hear some rustling in the leaves, a rough, some yeah, disturbance of the leaves. But uh, as you look over, you see nothing at all. Uh, which direction would that be in? Uh, around down here. You're not really sure on this, this area. Okay. Yeah. So, uh... Can I roll... Can I kind of investigate it? Or check again to see if uh, something's happening over there? Yeah. Try to uh, roll an investigation check. Oh. <laughs> Terrible. You have, a, you have a quick look around, but you... Uh, you really only see a lot of uh, bushes and trees and stuff. I don't hear anything. Yeah. So, hmm. All right. Yeah. So the night progresses, and uh, soon after, the sunlight starts to peek through. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Wake up, everybody. Everybody, the sun's up. Get up, get up, get up. Hello. Uh, you got goblins to kill. Aurek takes his arm from around. Um. From around. Uh. <laughs> 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 uh. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Strike that. Take that back. 
Got a teddy bear or something. Yeah, Alec pulls, Alec pulls his thumb out of his mouth and gets up. <laughs> oh, well, morning, huh? Yeah. So morning gets I, up. I, I have a phone call. Starts ready. Call. Okay. Okay. So do we take a break or do we continue while she's on the phone? Um, yeah, we can continue. Well, we can all wake up and stuff. I... Give me five yeah, minutes. Five minutes. I yeah, that works. She might not be that long. Okay. That'll give me five minutes to read ahead in the adventure. <laughs> <laughs> that means you get more time to prepare. Oh, no. <laughs> One thing I need to be very careful of now is that the uh, the two buttons, I have two buttons on, on all the scenes, one called View Scene, and just below that is the Activate button. Activate sends all of you to that scene, and View just sends me to the scene, They're right next to each other. <laughs> yeah. What could possibly go so It's wrong. a bit dangerous looking around while you guys are <laughs> connected. Oh yeah, my uh, comically oversized sword finally loaded to Chief's chat. That butcher's knife. No, that's a sword. I'm sure it's a butcher's knife. Oh, apparently I'm going to double post it. You triple posted now, mate. I want everyone to see that. Apparently. You're very proud of his sword, aren't you? <laughs> he told me it didn't go through the other two times. So, where are you posting that, just out of curiosity? Uh, in Chief's chat, you should be able to see that. Yeah, you do have access to that. In text channels, uh, if you scroll up, it's kind of our like general chat. Oh, yeah. A sword? Isn't that just a large knife? <laughs> it's because I've had to bring it quite close to me, but it's uh, five foot in total. Oh. A very large knife, then. <laughs> it's also only foam because it's my practice one. It's just... <laughs> you meant to like get like small little wooden sticks for practicing and learning form, but I thought if I went for something massively oversized... I'd get used to the extra weight, so when I went to a normal sword, it'd be like, oh, this is a lot easier, actually. This is weighted <laughs> and... I'll just issue a ready check. That will make it easier to know when everyone's back. Can I check something with you, Anders? Yeah. I got a spell called Thorn Whip. It's a druid cantrip. When I read it online, it said it, it, it you can use it up to 30 feet, uh, but it doesn't say that in the description I'm looking at now. I just want to check if it is 30 feet on Thorn Whip for the druid. Uh, thorn Whip. As, as far as I can see, it is 30 feet. Great. Awesome. Um, so... The text describes, so the ti the person or thing you're targeting needs to be within 30 feet of you, but then you can pull it 10 feet closer to you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man, so you like Scorpion from Mortal Kombat, man. <laughs> yeah. Get over here. I was going to say that as well. <laughs> <laughs> If you click on uh, on the spell without a uh, clicking the die, so if you just click the title of the spell, it should expand, and you should be able to see a label with thirty feet. Oh yeah, the bottom it says thirty yeah. feet.
Can I ask a question, Anders, about the logistics on Charmin? Yeah. So, say I charmed a creature. Would I get a chance to check their inventory and see if they've got anything in their bags or...? Uh, I think I'll just need to read the charm spell. Uh, one moment. I presume you'd have to ask the creature or they'd just have to stand there and let you search them or something. Unless you told them. No, uh, the, charmed, the charmed creature doesn't necessarily do what you tell them to do. They just become your friend for the duration. Yeah. So if they would show a friend what's in the bag, then they would show it to you. But if they have something they would hide from even their friends, then they wouldn't. Okay. All right, I'm back. I'm glad to see we're not dead. Yeah, we just took a break. Yeah, took a break. Thanks. Sorry about That's that. That's right. uh, Was that the uh, answer enough for you? That mind? is perfect. Thank you. Yes. Yeah, cool. So uh, let's just continue, I guess. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. No more interruptions. Cool, cool. So we're all awake? Yeah. I'm groovy. Yeah, morning's awake. Safran's so just doing his uh, morning stretches. Yeah, I fell asleep thinking about this, so I woke up already in the mindset, if you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> all right, shall we go back to the, to the cave? Yeah, let's go uh, hunt some goblins. It's Goblin's Lane time. Yeah, I'm going to stay in the middle, like pretty close to the front, but not in front of Morn or Remian. Okay, can you please uh, line up your marching order down here? I'm going to go in the middle. Uh, I need to go in the middle because I've got a cantrip I'm going to use. Okay. Lights the way for. Um, well, if you. Yeah, tank in the front. Um. Yep. Okay, I have an issue. One moment. I can't have multiple maps open at the same time, so I can't actually put you in that order on the new map. Uh, I just need to log in with the demo player. Well, should we just uh, line up on the new map? Because we've already been uh, no. previously, or. <laughs> I've got a spell that gives us light 10 foot in front and 10, in a 10 foot radius around me, and then dim light. Uh, for another 10 foot. So if I'm in the middle, I'm giving like 20 foot of light for us all, and I can cast as many times as I want. I chose that cantrip today, so we can see the cave. Yeah. Okay, uh, yeah, I guess uh, you're right, uh, Tamias. Uh, let's just move over here, and then have you guys line up down here. So, in this side, before you move further up the cave. You want me to go in the front? Uh, well, if I... So, just out of curiosity, did the map load yeah. instantly yep. for everyone? Yeah. Okay. So, what's our plan of attack then? Okay, I, I, uh, which order will uh, are you appearing in? Are you approaching him? Sorry. As long as I'm in the middle, so I can light the path for everyone. Maybe a beefcake on each side, like Remy at the back and more. I was going to be in the front just because I'm a bit of a slightly tankier than everyone else. Yeah, get Rem okay. at the back so we can like protect with his tankiness, and then. Okay, so. And then the other three of us huddled together. Who uh, who cast light? Uh, Phil Philanon's got a uh, produce flame. Uh, okay. Oh, one moment. I just need to modify you so you could casting light. So, uh, what was the radius of dim and bright light? A 10 foot radius around me of, of light, and then another 10 foot on top of that of dim light. Yeah, that's set. Okay, so I'm just moving you guys a little bit further back, but I'm keeping the order you're moving in. Okay, so just as you come close to the uh, to the mouth of the cavern, you hear a battle horn sounding, and a small voice yelling, "They're back! They're back! 
for Kragma! And you see oh, arrows no. start firing again towards you. Roll initiative. So we got arrows coming out of the mouth of the cave? Uh, nope. Uh, I'll expand on it in a moment. <laughs> All right. Don't forget there's that area so, uh, to the, the east. Sorry. Uh, yeah, a moment. Uh, so everyone can roll a perception check. Uh, still a bit sleepy. <laughs> there we okay. go. Okay, you see the arrows uh, are the arrows are coming from either side of the river from the bushes. Oh, so there. Uh, but one arrow is heading heading towards Morn. It's an ambush. Uh, let me just. But uh, clearly misses its mark. The uh, the other arrow is heading towards Ulrich. <laughs> and flies flies straight past him. Phil, what do you do? I am going to cast produce flame. Um. It just says attack and damage, but I don't want to. I just want to cast it in my hand. Uh, I can keep it in my hand just for the light. Mm. I don't. I don't have to cast it. We don't need light yet, do we? Yeah, but it lasts until until I stop. Basically, so that's all I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna cast the flame in my hand so that when they move and I move behind them, I've, I've already got it done. Yeah. So you. So currently, you're just emitting the light, and then you have to. Throw the flame to cast to da use it for damage. Yeah, and that will end the spell. Yeah, so you don't have to roll anything. You just have a flame in your hand right now. Just light first for twenty feet. Uh, yeah. I, uh, are you going to do anything else? No, I'm going to let Morn and Ulrich go first. Okay. So, uh, Satan. Okay. Uh... Tread carefully, my friends. The bushes, how, like, what season are we in? Do they look like they're green, or is there a lot of dead? Because there's some uh, planks. They're green. There's... We're in summer. We're in summer. Uh, let me just measure something quickly. Does that say 54? 45 feet. Okay. I am going to create a bonfire on this square here. That square? There. Okay. So it basically creates a cube of fire that fills five foot square uh yeah one moment wow sorry about, sorry about that <laughs> that's loud turn it down <laughs> musical fire <laughs> it's playing a lot of songs that I didn't play that is terrible I played Calvin Harris Summer to try and joke around. <laughs> I be in summertime and a lot of shit. Oh. <laughs> I still okay, have so uh, right around here, there's a bonfire now. Hmm. Any reaction from the goblin? Uh, no. Are you going to do anything else on your turn? 
Uh, no, I'm quite happy uh, hit at the back. Okay. So uh, another arrow uh, comes flying from the north, uh, northern bushes, and it uh, flies against Morn. But it still misses. God, these goblins are terrible shot. Uh, uh, Morn, you can do a perception check. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> That's the goblin roll on stealth with disadvantage. You notice nothing. Wow. That's bad luck. Morn. Okay. Um Obviously, I've, I know that there's something towards the north of me because I've just had an arrow fired at me. So I'm going to proceed towards the north bushes here. Yeah. Can I do like an investigation check or a perception check, see if I can spot anyone? Yeah, but then yeah. that will be your action. Well, I think I have to because I can't attack anyone. I don't know where they are. <laughs> why, so don't you, let's do that. why don't you ready yourself and if somebody... Uh, shows themselves by attacking, you can strike at them. Yeah, but I have to be within melee distance, and I don't know if I'm going to be, and they're shooting arrows, so... Yeah, um, yeah I'm going to I'm gonna see if I can uncover them. So, okay, so roll an investigation. You spot a goblin trying to hide between the branches. Apparently not doing a very good job. Nice. However, from the other side of the bushes, an arrow flies towards you. And hits you right in the lower arm lower right arm and does five damage OP alright so I'm gonna attack that visible goblin can I get him with a sneak attack no he knows you're there Shoot. All right. I'll just run up and stab him with a dagger. Yeah. So I don't know if you guys have been introduced to flanking. I, I you... know the concept. Okay. So it's a rule in D&D where if you stand on opposite sides of a foe, you flank the foe. And then you'll get advantage on your attack rolls. You can't do it right here. I just wanted to know if you know of this rule. No, I did not know of that rule. Okay, so so if, for example, uh, you stand there and another person were standing in this square here, you are flanking that enemy. If you both are holding a weapon, that is, then you're flanking the enemy and you get advantage on the attack roll. Ah, uh, Woolred never let us do that. We had so many people just surrounded. <laughs> Yeah, right, there, are some people, the yeah, there are some people. Uh, there are some DMs that don't play with that rule, but I like it. You I think ever, it um, I, yeah, I think it adds another level of strategy. If you ever want to try to get in stealth too, you just gotta break line of sight from what I read, and then try a stealth check. Then... Uh, no, not just break line of sight. You have to go to an area they don't know where you are. So if you're hiding behind a crate and that crate is out in the open, makes sense. They know you're there. So yeah, you're attacking it with a dagger. Yeah. Yeah. I stab him. Not very well. Oh, well, mm. I guess it's okay. Yeah. So we, uh, you are, you trimmed the bushes a bit, but uh, nothing more drastic happened. So uh, Ulrich. I will uh, cast. 
Um, I'll cast Toll the Dead on that goblin. Um, yeah. So that was a wisdom saving throw, right? Yes. Um, let me see. Yeah. I'm clicking on it right now. Hold up. Jeez. It looks a bit confused, confused about the sound, but um, doesn't react any further. Phil, I'm gonna cast Thorn Whip on this um, on this goblin here. Ooh, that sounds nasty. Thirty feet away, so I'm gonna I'm gonna cast Thorn. Yeah. Do I need to press attack? Yeah. Yeah, you need to roll an attack roll. See if it actually hits. You uh, throw out a uh, whip of thorns that lashes itself around the uh, left arm of the goblin. And then I get get to do damage and drag him 10 feet, so I'm gonna... Uh, uh, Yeah, if you want to drag it 10 feet. I do, I want to drag it past Noidy so she can do an attack opportunity. Uh, You actually... She actually doesn't get an attack of opportunity because it's not out of her threatened area yet. You're just dragging it through the area, so it will stop there. This entire square is is her threatened area. Okay. Yeah, if you could drag it 15 feet, it'd be able to do it. Yeah, easily. exactly. Yeah, but it stops. That's right okay, then. Okay, okay, so if... Um... You still put it up in position but, for flanking. But you can do the damage and drag if you want. If I move my guy in a different place, that's it. How far can I, I can move first? Ah, so let me just see where. I'm going to move here. Uh, you have already cast a spell. Oh, okay. Damn. Okay. okay. Never mind. Uh, yeah. Drag him out, then we'll have him flanked, won't we? Yeah, mm-hmm. let's try. Let's try. Yeah, that's true if Mon moves down oh. here. Afterwards. Yeah, if you, if you yeah. drag him out, we can flank him. Roll my damage. Yeah. Little cheeky thorn. The thorn then... takes in uh, in his skin. Right. And uh, uh, where do you drag it? Towards me, so in between Noidy and more. Sure. Okay. Cool. Cool. Do you want to move? Okay, so Satan. I think you guys have got that goblin pretty well covered. So I'm gonna move. That's not how you do it. Move to here. And can I do an insight check to see where the, uh, if I can see anybody in the trees to the east of us, please? Uh, that would check. be a perception check. Perception check, okay. Insight is more, you have insight into a subject. Yeah, I actually meant to say uh, investigation instead of insight. I misspoke completely, but uh, perception. Oh. <laughs> You cannot see anything. Okay, well, that's me. Okay. So I'm wondering, can you see which creature makes this check as well in the chat? Uh, No, it just says a goblin. Okay, so it does say goblin. Yeah. Yeah, it just says goblin. Ah, okay. So then it is the Goblin that you almost have surrounded, surrounded, turn. <laughs> he looks terrified of you guys now. He drops his bow and tries to pull out his scimitar and strike at Morn. Uh, 
but he's so terrified that he clearly misses. Morn, how do you respond do you to that? that? I'm gonna cleave him in half. <laughs> I think it's a little bit of an overreaction. Okay. Um, quick question: Can I move to flank him, or would that provoke an attack of opportunity? Would that give me an advantage? Uh, I'd like sidestep to the south of him. Yeah. It, it, it it only provokes an attack of opportunity if you move completely out of his uh, field. So if I go there, yeah, I can I can attack him with advantage, can I? Yeah. Okay, let's do that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> let's see the damage. Is that just normal damage? Yeah. So, you attempted to cleave him in half, and you succeeded. Yes! Goblin guts everywhere! What roars in victory! Okay. So, next one up. A goblin starts panicking and moving about the bushes and just runs up the cave while blowing a battle horn. And you can hear this horn echoes through the entire cave. Opie? Do we know if there's any other goblins running around? You haven't seen any. Do you guys want to run in or do you want to check around? Check around. I think they're going to come out at us, so maybe we should. There's a good choke point at the entrance of the cave, so maybe mm-hmm. take advantage of that. Yeah, let's just get ready to help anything that comes out of that with everything we've got. However, we need to make sure we do keep a distance from that bank. Or if someone has got some kind of magic they can use to stop the water, like freezing it up or something. To make sure we're not going to get struck by that wave again. How long does that fire last? Right, until until I, I turn it off. I, I think she means oh, the, the bonfire. bonfire. Yeah, until I dismiss it. Okay, cool. So that kind of blocks that whole side off. Yeah. Um, I'd like to go into stealth in anticipation of them coming out. Hey, uh, yeah. Uh, how are you planning on hiding? Just in the bushes. Okay. Auric? Um, I'd like to... Check your DM, Linka. I'd like to, um... Move. I forget what. Why is it making the line that I'm supposed to make? I forget okay, what else. Press, press control. Control. Oh, there we go. I'd like to move to the mouth of the cave. Yeah. And um, I'm going to ready myself uh, for an attack. And that's in my turn. Yeah. What are you going to do if? Uh, one moment. There are two forms of ready. Let me just have a look. Yeah, you have to say what you're going to do. I ready. Uh, what do you mean? Like, say, if I'm going to cast a spell, or I'm going to actually melee attack, or what do you mean? Yeah. Oh, I'm going to cast ready, ready a uh, um a spell. Okay. Uh, ready. Yeah. That to say which spell? Um. No, you just have to say it's a spell. You have to say which type of action you're going yeah, to Yeah, okay. All right. Yeah. Uh, Phil. Yep, I've still got this flame burning in my hand, right? Sure. Awesome. I'm going to uh, move. Uh, 
get within uh, within distance. So, as oh yeah, my lights work. Is my light working now? Yeah. So yeah. I should have light to oh, full light all the way around here, and then we should have dim light all the way to there. So we'll be able to see if anyone comes to us. Uh, no. The, uh, for example, down here, your light is being blocked. Line of sight, right? Yeah, line of sight. But we've got that bottom area fenced off with a bonfire, so someone has to literally run through fire to get us from that. If there is They can run there. through the bushes, it's just difficult terrain. Yeah. But I guess you'll heal them then. Yeah, that's me. I'm, I'm good. Okay. Say them. Ray of frost the water. Freeze it. It will freeze okay. the stream, but I don't think it will do anything to the stuff in the dam. It is a cantrip, so you'll probably only get a small. Uh, <laughs> There's no way it's going to stop the dam. Maybe if we were out here for like an hour, then. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, every turn, I'm just there, just like blasting away a different That's chunk of. Ray of frost. Ray of frost. Ray of frost. Ray of frost. <laughs> Okay, so uh, difficult terrain. You, your movement's like half, isn't it? Yes. Okay, well, I'm going to cross the river bank and hide in the bushes to the south, near where that fire is. Yeah. Well keeping an eye from that fire is so if anyone comes out I can blast them through the bushes okay so how do I add a point uh click I don't even know why I'm typing. I've got um, I've got minor heal memed to heal yeah. you if you uh, need it, Linker, and I've got uh, two cantrips to. Uh, you can you can only move to here because of the difficult terrain. Okay. Yeah, I'm definitely saving my um, heals this time. I'm, I I cast bless last time. Bless is just not worth it with only two spell slots. I'm gonna use both of them for heals. Bless, bless is great. When you've only got a few spells, then yeah, you might want heals, but. Yeah. Just a great spell. If I level up and get another spell slot, I might do that just so I can have two hills and a and a buff. But at, before that, I'm just gonna keep both these for hills. I'm only gonna heal if you're below low health, or half health, so I can get the full benefit from it. <laughs> okay. I've got twelve. I've got twelve HP. I die in two hits. <laughs> <laughs> I think all of you will die in two hits. <laughs> yeah. Well. Yeah. You just down. Down. I can heal I can... you for full health and get you right back up pretty much if you get downed. If I heal you now, I'll probably heal you for like 10 or something, then you'll only take, get, be able to take 4 of it. I think I'll just lay up hands myself. Okay, so uh, where do you want to move? I'm trying to move into this decision. bush, but it's not letting me move that. There we go. Okay. And uh, that's it. Uh, I'm waiting for anyone to come out uh, to come into my line of sight from that path in the north. And if they do, I'm going to cast a spell. Okay. Um. More. I'm going to. I'm going to move up here, and then I'm going to use Lay of Hands on myself to restore um, four hit points. Yeah. Leaving me with one, one Lay of Hands resource. Okay, so a goblin p 
peaks around the corner here. Does that trigger anyone's ready? Where, where, where at? I, I can see it. I can see the goblin. Uh, where is he? Uh, I, I think Satan is the only one that can't see it. Yeah, yeah, Philanon, where is he? He's uh, just around the corner in the mouth of the cave to the right. Oh, well, we killed the wolves. Gotcha. Yeah. So, does it trigger anyone's ready action? Um, what is that? Um... Did anyone ready anything that is going to trigger now where something is in line of sight? Line of sight? Yeah, yeah, I'd like to. Uh, I'd like to ca cast um, Toll the Dead on that thing. Yep. Oh, yeah, nice. Um, oh, yeah, that's me. Oh! Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> Bad luck. So, anyone else got anything ready? I think I heard one more ready something. Uh, uh, Nody's on the phone. I don't think she, she's there. I think she said she's gonna ready something. Yeah, but I don't think she got anything that's ranged, right? Yeah. yeah. Phil, uh, I think. Uh, you gonna throw a phone? Hello. Someone says hello. Hello. Say that again. Are you gonna throw your fireball? No, no, I'm gonna fall with it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Your thorn whip uh, snags on a loose rock right here on the corner. Okay. So, the goblin peeks around the corner, sees you guys still there, and then you can hear he tries to whisper but fails miserably. They're still there! They're still there! And then moves back. So, we're gonna skip OP for now. I am back. Sorry you are back, so we will not skip you. <laughs> Don't skip me, please. I'm back. I lost my yeah. job, but I'm back. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I got, I, got, I got two months. I got two months notice, and yeah, it's not great though. Yeah, um, so. all right. So, what are we doing here? A goblin just came out to this uh, this little bit that I pinged here. Um, and uh, he saw us. And then could cast a spell on him, and it, it, it he did a, like a critical save the goblin, and I tried to whip him, and then he, he said, "Oh, this was," and he ran off. You could have probably hit him with your short bow, but we had to skip you. Sorry. Well, I haven't skipped you. Talk oh, we, no more goblins outside the cave, though. Mm -hmm. As far as you know. Do we want to go back in the cave? Hell yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. I should do a perception check to see if there's any more goblins out here. Uh, when you say out here. <laughs> Outside the cave. That's a pretty large area, and you can't check all that in six seconds, which is an. I just like to. Okay, yeah. I check in this area. But let's go in. All right. I've been waiting. I'm waiting to get in this cave. The yeah, noise is probably the best to lead. You got high as they see. Yeah, you want me to move one square at a time? Yeah. <laughs> let me let me get behind you, ready. You and, uh, can't st still, again. still in turn. Oh, sorry. <laughs> um, I'm still stealth, right? Because I haven't removed myself from stealth. Uh, so roll a stealth check. <laughs> that was my perception. Oof. <laughs> yeah. And then you can roll a perception. And I will roll a stealth. <laughs> oh. yes. Okay. Two small creatures <laughs> hiding from each other, failing to notice one another. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna use it like a cobalt. 
and a goblin both peeking around the same rock, but they just check. <laughs> One head pops out, looks around, goes back. The other head pops out, looks around, <laughs> goes back. Nobody sees each other. We're secret. Right, I'm gonna stay right here. This is where I'm staying. Okay. Going to do anything else? Uh, no. I don't mm -hmm. think there's much else uh, I can do. I think you can ready an attack. Yeah, I can. Let's ready. Uh, can I ready sneak attack? Or just any regular attack? Well, you'll be stealth uh, when they come around the corner, right? So that would give you an advantage. Uh, I could yeah. do that. Yeah, let's yeah, do but that. You, you don't have to say which attack. You're just going to say which type of action you're readying. So you just have to say, I'm readying an attack action. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. readying an attack action then. Okay, cool. Ulrich. I'm going to uh, move from here. At that one square at a time, please. Okay. <laughs> yeah, okay, so please make a uh, perception check. <laughs> okay. okay. You notice the gun uh, hanging out the corner before it manages to hit. Uh, if you hang light, you notice him that is. Uh, can I... Yeah, yeah it's actually to ignite a torch. Oh, ready, ready your spell, and then I'll, I'll hit him behind you when my light hits him to be able to use that action. Okay. Uh, I'll, uh, I'll already an action, or, or a spell. By the way, if you are casting a spell while uh, adjacent to an enemy, uh, a any attack roll is rolled with disadvantage. Oh, he can do a melee hit instead, then, right? Yeah, he can. Yeah, I mean, I don't. My spell doesn't use attack rolls, so it's fine. Yeah, he just. <laughs> it's fine. Okay. <laughs> cool. Yeah, like I'm not. I, 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 my spell literally doesn't use an attack dice, so it's not it doesn't affect me at all. Yeah, I mean, my, my spell, he has to make a save, and I don't have to do an attack dice. Okay, but what do you do? Do you ignite a torch? Do you ready a spell, or...? I, uh, ready, I ready a spell. Okay. So, uh, from just uh, out of the darkness, you see a, uh, a sword come slashing through. And it strikes your lower leg for three damage. Five. Five. Still on. Rolls to his homie. Alright. Yeah. Whoa. 